the comedy world are gathering in Leicester for the exclusive Leicester Comedy Festival and the UK Kids Comedy Festival Awards 2021. Leicester needs a good laugh after being locked down for over a year. But then if you look at it differently, you have actually won lockdown. You've, you've beaten us all at it. Well done you, you've done it very, very well. And if you're watching from home, please remember to show us by posting on social media using the hashtags Comedy Awards, hashtag I love Zoe Lyons, hashtag want to see her on the telly more, hashtag I'm very much available, hashtag I'm empty till about June in my diary, hashtag I'm always here, hashtag I'm punctual, hashtag I'm fairly reasonably priced. You can see them all on the red carpet. Photographers are plenty. Snappity snap snaps. There's Will Gompetz from the BBC. I heard he's presenting an award this evening, but you know, what would I know? I'm only the host. Someone's just turned up in a limo. Who could that be? Is it Jeff? Oh, look at him on a hen do.
Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Leicester Comedy Festival 2021 award ceremony. My name is Jeff Rowe. I'm the founding director of the festival. It's kind of all my fault, for which I apologise. It's great to be here this evening and uh, uh, share some of the highlights of Leicester Comedy Festival and some of the successes that happened back in February of this year. If I'm completely honest, there were times over the last 12 months when we weren't entirely certain what was going to happen in February 2021. And if it wasn't for the support, the enthusiasm and the goodwill of so many people, organisations, comedians, promoters, venues, if I'm honest again, the festival probably would not have taken place. So tonight we want to say a massive thank you to all of you for supporting what happened with Leicester Comedy Festival 2021. Some of you will know that the festival last year, Leicester Comedy Festival 2020, was the last national comedy event to have taken place in that year. And I'm thrilled that we were the first to have taken place in 2021. Bookending what, let's face it, was a pretty terrible 12 months of COVID, lockdown and social distancing. And of course, was a, was a truly awful time for anyone who suffered loss during that year. It was a pretty terrible time for all those involved in live comedy, as diaries full of shows emptied, filled up again, emptied, filled up again, and then emptied again. Comedians suffered as their only source of income disappeared overnight. Audiences missed flocking to venues and seeing shows. Venue managers locked their doors and didn't open again. And front of house staff, technicians, marketing people, tour managers, loads of other people have suffered as a result of lockdown. And it was within this context that in June 2020, we made the decision that there would be something called Leicester Comedy Festival and the UK Kids Comedy Festival in February 2021. And that was partly thanks to the continued support of our main partners, Leicester City Council, De Montfort University, and Union Jack Radio. And can I just say a massive thank you to everybody from those organizations for signing up and continuing to support us at that difficult time. Although we decided we would do the festivals, we didn't know what they would look like. And as many of you will know, we planned a hybrid festival, a mixture of live events and online events. We had over 500 shows planned to take place. And then in the first week of January, Boris Johnson stood up just four weeks before the festival and announced a further lockdown, which meant everything had to go online. I just want to say a huge thank you to the festival producer, Charlotte, who did an amazing job and worked with the incredible festival team and moved everything online. So in the end, we had over 350 performances take place across 19 days, featuring, featuring over 150 comedians. We sold over 20, 27,000 tickets to comedy lovers around the world. Tickets were sold to people living in Australia, the USA, Sweden, Cyprus, Belgium, Belfast and Berlin, as well as across the UK and also here in Leicester. Over 86% of the audiences were brand new to the festival. They had never bought tickets to a previous Leicester Comedy Festival, so a huge number of people enjoyed what we were doing for the very first time. Many of the events were viewable thanks to the New Deal, new partnership with Next Up Comedy. And I just want to also say a massive thank you to the team there. It was fantastic to work with you all. The festival programme included over 1,678 hours of comedy on Next Up, as well as events on Twitch, Facebook Live, YouTube and other online platforms. I have no idea what those online platforms are. I've never watched Twitch in my life, but I hear they were very good. Big name comedians took part in the festival, uh, friends of ours like Tom Allen, Ed Byrne, Nina Conti, Stuart Lee, Al Murray, somebody called Zoe Lyons, all appeared as part of the festival, as well as a mixture of stand-up comedy shows, a seminar discussion programme, a series of special festival podcasts, kids and family shows, and exclusive interviews with comedians. Over 80% of the audience were based outside Leicester and Leicestershire, an increase from 65% in previous years. We also raided our archive and made available for free footage of comedians who'd previously been a part of Leicester Comedy Festival over the last 28 years. Interviews and footage 
we put online, including appearance, included appearances by Michael Palin, Terry Jones, Nicholas Parsons, Jimmy Cricket, and many, many more. The UK Kids Comedy Festival took place alongside the main festival and once again was a huge success. The Kids Festival had 33 events, 3,000 people took part, including some young people who signed up to take part in the online Laugh Term Comedy School, where they learned the basics of comedy performance and stand up. The festival's expanded reach was reflected in the national media coverage that we received and Leicester Comedy Festival and the UK Kids Comedy Festival was seen on BBC News, The Times, The Guardian, BBC Radio 2, BBC Radio 5, Metro, The Telegraph and Waitrose Weekend Magazine, a particular highlight of mine. To keep this thing going, we need support. And I'm delighted to say that this support is being sustained by a range of individuals and organisations and donors who increasingly support what we do the main festivals, but also the charitable work of Big Difference, which extends throughout the year. This year, we've received donations from many comedians who recognise the value of the festival to the broader UK comedy industry. We also received a growing number of donations from audience members and companies who wanted to support what we do. I'd like to say a huge thank you to everyone who donates or invests financially in the festivals. We are a registered charity and exist to celebrate British comedy and support new and emerging talent. I think this is still to this day unique in the comedy world. Without the ongoing support, we wouldn't be in a position to be planning Leicester Comedy Festival 2022 and also our 30th anniversary in 2023. Last year, it was the first time that we did our award ceremony online and it was watched by an amazing 4,000 people. If everybody who watched that had donated one pound, we would have been able to use that money to grow our support for new and emerging comedians. Now, I know times are hard for many people, but if you are able this evening to text Circuit Breakers to 70085 and make a donation, it would really help us continue and extend our support for new and emerging comedians. All the money raised will go to support the Circuit Breakers project which over the years has supported many com emerging comedians. Text to that number 70085 costs just five pounds plus one standard rate message. And you'll be opting in to hear more about our work if you text that number. If you don't want to receive more information, just text circuit breakers, no info, and you won't hear from us ever again. Supporting new and emerging comedians has been a part of our work for nearly three decades, and we want to make sure that we can continue to do that. I don't know about you, but it seems to me that at the moment, new and emerging comedians and people involved in the comedy industry could do with a bit of support. So if you can text Circuit Breakers to 70085, we'd really appreciate it. If you click on the link that you get back, we will then receive an extra 25% of the money from the government via the gift aid scheme. That's the end of my Bob Geldof live aid type bit for this evening. So before I introduce you to our host, I just wanted to say a few more thank yous. Thank you so much to the board of trustees of Big Difference who give up their time and help me and the team develop and extend what we do. I'd also like to thank all the members of the awards panel, particularly to Chris Trail and Andy Salkeld, who this year led the awards panel who continue to see far too many shows across the 19 days and end up nominating the acts in the best show categories and decide on the final winners that you'll hear about shortly. And also a huge thank you to the team in the office. Of course, we haven't really had an office for the last 12 months. We've all been working from home. This is where I've been for the last 12 months. But massive thank you to Jen, Asma, Laura, Charlotte, Catherine, Fern, Charlie, Sophie and Katie, thank you so much. So tonight is about saying a big thank you to everybody who contributed to the, to the festival, to promoters, to comedians, to community organisations, all those people who help us what we do. Without you, frankly, the festivals would be terrible. It gives me a huge pleasure to introduce you to our host for, the, for this evening. She's a big friend of the festival. She appeared in the festival. I was slightly rude to her a minute ago. But anyway, welcome to your host, Zoe Lyons. 
Hi, Zoe. Hi, how are you? Well, I'm okay. Thank you very much. I'm pleased that we managed to do the festivals and I'm also thrilled that you've agreed to host this award ceremony. Thank you so much. Absolute pleasure. And here I am in the, in the you might recognise the venue. Uh, it's the it's the Y in Leicester. Look at that. It's obviously very socially distanced this evening, just me and a couple of pillars. But, uh, <laughs> did you manage to set that up yourself, Zoe? I did, you know, I did. I feel like, you know, 12 months into a pandemic and I feel a little bit like Elon Musk now with my tech skills. It's, um, <laughs> I've surprised myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for doing this. Before we get uh, started, I thought it might be nice to look back at some of the highlights from the festival. Should we do that? Brilliant. Let's take a look. The Leicester Comedy Festival has begun online. It's been running for nearly 30 years, this time via live stream, with more than 100 comedians and audiences getting involved. Hello, welcome to the Leicester Comedy Festival 2021! <laughs> Supporting Leicester Comedy Festival. Welcome to the Leicester Comedy Festival and the UK Kids Comedy Festival Awards Ceremony 2021. We are in partnership with the De Montfort University and DMU for Life. And as Jeff said, these awards are held in recognition of all your hard work throughout the year. Uh, it's the 16th time the awards have taken place and for the second year running, we are online. We're getting very used to it now. I mean, I have basically turned into some sort of tech, I don't know, just entrepreneur. Look, I've even managed to place myself in the Y Theatre in Leicester. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a marvellous thing. I can, smell, I can smell crisps and beer. It's really that effective. So we are broadcasting live this evening and we'd like to encourage you to to comment with us in, in the comments section using the hashtag comedy awards. Send us your pictures, uh, send us your send us your thoughts as long as they're, you know, reasonable and uh, and uh, and get involved. Show us what you're wearing. What are you wearing? Who are you wearing this evening for the awards? Who are you wearing? Tell you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing my uh, I'm wearing my awards ceremony slippers. Ah, uh, that, that yes, absolute red carpet slippers. What are the advantages of working from home these days? The Zoom gig, the Zoom gig. My friend said to me when they first started, "You'll love them, Zoe, because you only have to get half dressed." I was six or seven in before I realised they meant from the waist up. So you have been saved seeing something horrific this evening. Shall we crack on with the awards? <laughs> this evening and remember please do whoop and cheer for each other put it in the comment section put it in the chat in fact just let it out make your neighbors jealous that you're having an amazing night out in so our first award is for liberty award the liberty award and this award is for someone or something that has gone above and beyond to make the festival more exciting and festive and the nominees in this first award are 
Jericho Comedy, The Joke Spot in collaboration with Leicester City Libraries, Beyond the Joke Discussion Series, No More Jockeys Live with Triple CP, and Weirdos Gary and the Crisp Factory. And to present the winner, please welcome Laura Aaron, CEO of Big Difference Company, the charity, of course, behind these wonderful festivals. And the winner is No More Jockeys Live, Triple CP. Hello, uh, this is Mark Watson, your friend of mine, uh, speaking to you from the iconic No More Jockeys Arena, well, one third of it, um, on behalf of Key and Horn, the uh, remaining team. Um, uh, I've just, well, we've all just looked down a list of things that we mind, and this award is very much not among those. Um, thank you to Leicester Comedy Festival um, uh, for well, Colin specifically, but all at the festival for um, allowing us to experiment with this first uh, live broadcast of the um, bewilderingly popular format. And um, sorry, that sounds immodest. I, I just mean it's more popular than we expected. Not that its popularity uh, in a vacuum is anything to... Anyway, um, it's been very fun for us anyway, and uh, we would like to thank all, all of those below the line who have made this a, um, a strange chapter in uh, the careers of the three of us. And again, enormous hats off, well, whatever size hats really you have off to um, Colin and all at Leicester, who um, in the in the depths of uh, darkness demonstrated that a comedy festival can be done viably online, making quite a lot of people happy. So our next award this evening is for best kids show. Oh, don't you just love a kids show? Well, if you're a kid, I suppose you love them. I'm, I don't have kids because I can't stand them but uh, apparently they're quite popular so here are the nominations for the best kids show we have got johnny awesome the gag slinging guitar hero paul curry turbo fool schools out comedy club with philip simon and jeddy bear and gary's picnic to present the winner please welcome martin allison chair of the board of trustees for the big difference company and the best kids show in 2021 is Johnny Awesome and the Gag Slinging Guitar Hero. Well done. Look at this. Oh, an award made from solid gold. Wow. Thank you so much. It was quite a challenge to come up with a show that would work on screen rather than in real life. So I'm glad people enjoyed it. I'd like to thank the festival, the people who came to my show, and also a shout out to Hannah Godfrey at Gag Reflex for coming up with the title of Johnny Awesome, the Gag Slinging Guitar Hero. This is wonderful. It means a lot to me because it's my first award. My first award. And all it took was a global pandemic for it to happen. Thanks everybody. Have a great night. Our next award this evening is for Best Promoter. I mean, you know, as a comedian, you've got to love a promoter. They give us work. They give us work. I love you all. I hope you all win. But of course you won't. That's life. The nominees in this category are... We've got Triple CP, Just the Tonic, Tickle Pink Comedy and Leicester Cathedral. And to present the winner, please welcome Fern Beard, Festival Producer Extraordinaire. And the winner is... Triple CP. I'm greatly honoured to receive this award and I would like to thank Jeff, Charlotte Fern and all at Leicester Comedy Festival for their continued support and not least their determination, their determination to go ahead with, with the festival. I'd also like to thank Tom, Amy and all at Next Up, Josh, Morgan and all the stream techs, Billy and Hannah at PBJ, Jack at Avalon, Siren and all at Impatient Productions, Jet and the team at Chambers and all the acts that took a chance on doing shows with us during the festival. I'm also incredibly grateful to the venues of Leicester, particularly the support of Firebug, The Y and The Little Theatre, without whom I wouldn't have had the platform to put on these online shows. As well as all the volunteers, particularly Jenny, who have helped me with live shows over the years. Many thanks. And moving on, our next award tonight is the Tracy Miller Community Award. Now, this award is for a project, a group of people or an event which has a positive impact on the local community. It's been named the Tracy Miller Community Award in honour of festival friends Tracy, who sadly passed away last year. And the nominees for this award are A Place to Grow by Blaby District Big Weekend, 
Headway Leicestershire, Leicester and Rutland, North West Leicestershire District Schools, Teening Deer and Focus Charity. And to present the winner, please welcome Tracy's husband, Pete Miller. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Mr. Tracy Miller. Of course, I'm really Pete Miller of the Miller Partnership, but more importantly, Tracy's husband. Losing Tracy has been an almost unbearable blow to me. What I didn't realise until she had died was just how many people around this city that she had touched with her personality, with her love of life and with the huge amount of work she did for charities around the city and also just generally helping people who were in need. She will be missed all around the city and beyond. I was very touched when Jeff phoned me up to ask if it would be okay to name the award after her. I frankly am absolutely delighted. I think it's a brilliant idea and I know Tracy would have been very, very proud and delighted as well. She wasn't one to take centre stage, but she did like to be the centre of attention. She was quite happy to work behind the scenes, but it was still lovely when she was recognised and she would be chuffed to bits, quite frankly, with this. So thank you again for this huge honour, which I'm delighted and very, very proud of Tracy about. So without further ado, I would like to now announce that the winner is A Place to Grow. Blaby District Big Weekend. And appropriately, I think, your prize is one of Tracy's designer Wellington boots. Wow, uh, thank you so much. What can I say? Um, I'm honoured to accept this on behalf of Place to Grow. It was the first time we took part in the Blaby District Big Weekend. And what can I say? We had so much fun. Being able to link comedy with the garden and people's experience was fantastic. Um, the poem that created really showcases, I guess, what an amazing space we've got and also the people that use it. So thank you so much. Um, have a good evening and look forward to seeing you next year. And we are on to award number five this evening. I'm getting quite good at this. I think, uh, I don't know, I think I think maybe the Oscars next year for me. Not winning an Oscar, presenting them, of course. You know, well, stranger things have happened. Of course, stranger things have happened. We all know stranger things have happened, haven't we? Look at the 12 months we've had, you know. 18 months ago, some bloke you've never heard of, 5,000 miles away, did something unspeakable to a bat, and now you're having to spend 40 minutes queuing in the rain to get into a post office. So I think I can say I might be up for presenting the Oscars. Stranger things have happened. So this is the Business of the Year Award, and it's been a tricky year for business, unless, of course, you're Deliveroo or DHL. None of them are nominated, so let's crack on with who is. The Business of the Year Award nominees are Octopus Energy, PPLPRS Limited, Cool as Leicester. Next up, Comedy and Rowley's Partnership. This is the second year that we've had the Business of the Year Award and to present the award tonight is last year's winner, Eileen Richards from ER Recruitment. ER Recruitment were delighted to win this award last year. We love working with and being part of the Big Difference Company. I've been asked to announce tonight's winner of the Business of the Year and that is Octopus Energy. Congratulations. Thank you so much to everyone who performed at our company family dinner. We really enjoyed the performances, especially during lockdown. And thank you very much for recognising us for this award. It means a lot for us to be recognised locally for all the work that we do. <laughs> Thanks again, guys! <laughs> award six, or the sixth award, depending on which way you like to look at it, is for Student of the Year. I don't know what they've had to do to win this, possibly just get up after 1pm and munch their way through endless amounts of pot noodles. I jest, I jest. These kids have been working hard and helping the festival in many, many different ways. The nominees in this category are Abby and Josh, Nadine, Ramia and Caitlin and Willow Dawson. I like the way Willow gets a surname, but none of the others do. To present the award, please welcome DMU Vice-Chancellor, Professor Katie Normington. Hello, I'm Katie, the Vice-Chancellor at De Montfort University. 
and I'm delighted to be part of the ceremony this evening to celebrate the Leicester Comedy Festival 2021. And I want to say congratulations to all the students involved in the festivals. You're completely integral to the event. I'm really pleased to announce the winners of the Student of the Year Award, and they are Abby and Josh. Many congratulations. Thank you for Leicester Comedy Festival for my Student of the Year Award. I would especially thanks Jeff Rowe and also my teammate Josh. Unfortunately, this year is very special and hopefully next year I can see you guys. Oh, thank you Leicester Comedy Festival for this award. Uh, thank you for having us. It was a nice surprise. Thank you to Jeff Rowe. It was great working with you. I just want to say thank you to our teammates who actually helped us on the way. And thank you to our lecturer, Simon. We've all been working really hard this year and it is really nice to um, to get some notice. So thank you. So we are now about halfway through the awards, you know, give or take a little bit here or there, probably more halfway through now that I've added the here or there bit now. So, and as Jeff said at the beginning of the show, if you are able to donate in any way, shape or form this evening, it will be greatly appreciated. Of course, all the donations go towards helping new and emerging acts. Oh, I remember when I was a new and emerging act. Now I'm just a fading and disappearing act. But still, please send your money. We need it. We're like those donkeys you see on the charity adverts. So he has to walk three miles a day just to look in a well to see her own reflection because the no comedy club's open and she needs to know she still exists. So we're going to crack on. Award number seven is for best podcast. Who doesn't enjoy a podcast? Well, people with no ears, I would imagine. The nominees in this category are Biggest Idiot, Pappy's Flat Share Slam Down at Leicester Comedy Festival, The Dinner Party, Comedy Arcade Live, and Jessica Foster Cues presents the Hoovering Podcast Live 2021. And to present the winner, please welcome Adnan Ahmed, producer for Sky Comedy. And the winner is Pappy's Flat Share Slam Down. Thank you so much. This means the absolute world to us. We'd like to thank uh, everybody at the Leicester Comedy Festival and to Colin, who did such a wonderful job promoting the show. Oh, thank you. Yes, we'd also like to thank our guests. Flat Share Slam Down won't be the same without its wonderful guests. We had the fantastic Angela Barnes and the A-list sensation Carrie Ad Lloyd for this episode. Thank you so much to them. Thank you very much to our producers as well, Ben Walker, co-creator, uh, the wonderful Emma Corsham and Gwyn Rhys-Davis. Thank you. Uh, and thanks to everyone at ACAST as well, uh, oh. who host our podcast each week. Um, thank you. Cheers, everyone. Bye. Bye. And so we are moving on, and I hope you're having a pleasant evening so far. Uh, maybe you're having some, some drinky poo-poos. Drinky poo-poos, I do say that. I also say holly bobs, but then it doesn't matter because nobody's going on one this year. Oh, maybe you're having some snacks. How nice. Um, I'm living on my own at the moment, so it's difficult to know how formal to go, isn't it? I mean, are people still using plates? It just seems a bit much. You've cooked it in a pan. A pan is essentially a well-engineered plate. Why bother decanting it onto a lesser piece of crockery? Award number eight is for Contribution to Leicester Comedy Festival 2021. The nominees in this category are Next Up Comedy, Rob G, Merch Aid, Cool as Leicester, mm -hmm. and Arts Council England, DCMS. And to present the winner, please welcome Charlotte Ladit, Festival Producer. And the winner is Next Up Comedy. Thank you so much for this beautiful trophy. Uh, that's definitely a trophy and not a box of champagne with a post-it note on it. Um, we, I know that everyone who was part of Leicester Comedy Festival in any capacity this year had to be incredibly adaptable and change what the contribution might mean for them. And I'm really proud that we were able to help Leicester Comedy Festival go ahead in such a successful manner despite all of the challenges this year. So we are moving on to award number nine. I hope you're having a lovely, lovely time. Please do keep sending in your photos. We want to see you having a good time. Maybe, maybe even if you're on your own, you know, you, we can all have a good time. You know, listen, I'll be honest. I, I've got lonely at times during this lockdown. Um, I've started drawing faces on fruit in the fruit bowl, so I feel less alone. Um, it, it helps. It does help. It's this little fella here. Look at him. Look at him. He's having a whale of a time. He's having a time of his life, this little fella. I mean, we don't all get on. I mean, this this one's a, a little more grumpy. Uh, 
harder to please. He's actually French girl and delicious, so we don't agree on a lot of things politically. And because he's French, he knocks off about sort of seven hours into a shift and just smokes a ball while in the bowl. So, award number nine is for best festival appearance. And the nominees in this category are Ahir Shah, Louise Young, Sakisa, Joe Thomas, and Jamie D'Souza. And to present the winner, please welcome Adam English, presenter from Union Jack Radio. Whoop, whoop, tune. And the winner is the wonderful, magnificent, brilliant, and incredibly handsome, Ahir Shah. Thank you very much for this award for Best Festival Appearance, which I have chosen to represent with this UE Boom. Uh, it's a great thrill to be told I was the best festival appearance at a festival that I did not physically appear at, and I hope that this leads to me receiving in the future multiple Oscars for films I have not been in. Thank you. And award number 10 is for best show, not best in show, which is a sort of dog category. Although, you know, stranger things have happened, as we've previously discussed. So the best show category nominees for 2021 are... Weirdos, Gary and the Crisp Factory, Tim Key, he used thought as a wife, the recital, Esther Manito, hashtag not all men, Stuart Laws, single father of non, Finn Taylor, irrelevant material for a post-vaccine world. I haven't had mine yet because I'm just that little bit too young. Just, just, ever so slightly. Just realised the other day I'm just slightly too old to die tragically young. That's the age I am at. To present the winner, please welcome Will Gompetz, BBC Arts Editor. I'm delighted to say that this year's winner of Best Show is doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, Esther Manito and hashtag not all men. And here as your award is a mini Ai Weiwei. Oh my God. Oh. Leicester Comedy Festival. Guys, I can't tell you how much this award means to me. I am so, so grateful. But these, oh my God, thank you so much for this award. I can't tell you how much it means to me and how much these are needed for when I you know, jog or walk or laugh or talk. But <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And, and well done to everybody. Thank you. And our penultimate award this evening, or second to last, as I like to call it, because I prefer to use bigger words. Well, more of them. Anyway, our penultimate award this evening is for lifetime contribution. And to give us more information, I'm going to hand you back to Jeff Rowe. Thanks, Zoe. Each year at our award ceremony, we use the opportunity to thank somebody who has, over a number of years, contributed a huge amount to what we do. Past winners have included comedians, promoters, business partners, sponsors and other people who we genuinely feel deserve some recognition for what they've done in going over and above what might usually be expected. And this year we wanted to recognise a member of the festival community who earlier on this year in February made their 20th annual visit to Leicester Comedy Festival. They first came to the festival in 2001 when, as a very young comedian, they took part in the Leicester Mercury Comedian of the Year competition. They didn't win, but then again, nor did Jimmy Carr, who was also in the competition that year. Then in 2002, they returned with their own solo show. And we have been delighted that they've come back every year since. Over the years, this comedian has performed at almost every festival venue in the city and many across the county as well. I know that they've definitely performed at the Old Phoenix, the Y, the Little Theatre, De Montfort Hall, Curve, Firebug and the Sue Townsend Theatre. They've performed their own solo shows, but also hosted comedy shows, mixed bill shows, numerous corporate and community events. Many of you will know him from his work hosting our Alternative Business Awards, which have taken place at Curve and helped raise a significant amount of money for the festival and our charity, Big Difference. It was promoter Colin Bowles who reminded me earlier this year that this comedian was making his 20th annual visit to the festival. 
So we thought he was a worthy winner of this award. Without his appearances at Leicester Comedy Festival, it's fair to say that the events would have been considerably shorter and everyone would be suffering from a lack of hugs. The winner of the Lifetime Contribution Award to Leicester Comedy Festival to recognize his fantastic support for the festival. We really appreciate everything that he's done over the last 20 years. Tonight, we award it to Pat Monaghan. Oh, Jeff, thank you very much. This is so emotional. I tell you what, I am, I've literally broken three laptops because I've been practicing trying to give you a hug just like this. I'm just like, oh my God, I'm coming in. Thank you, Jeff, absolute pleasure. And thank you very much for the award. It's probably one of the best awards ever. Now, I mean, you pretty much summed up everything that I said. I've played every venue in, in Leicester going, you and Colin and everyone, Fern, and everyone who's at the festival being absolutely fantastic. One of the venues you missed was I played seven different kebab shops on Granby Street during the festival as well. I mean, they were unofficial. I, I think they were trying to get me out of the shop, but there was an audience of three people. So I thought, well, I'm waiting for chips. Let's crack on with it. So this award, thank you very much. I know there's people probably watching thinking, oh my God, how long did it take Jeff to make this award out of Play-Doh? Basically, during the last 12 months, Jeff wrote, you've been amazing. I mean, most people have just been doing DIY in the house, whereas you went on eBay and bought six ton of Play-Doh and you've been making these awards, handing them out to people across the Leicester Comedy Festival. And then apparently, I've not seen it yet, but apparently you've used five ton of Play-Doh to make a new extension to the house and the shed in the back garden, which will be a new festival venue in 2022. So make sure you put that in. Playing Jeff Shed, I want to play that be absolutely brilliant. But honestly, it is very emotional. I, I am so chuffed because look, I, I remember, like, like you said there, doing the first uh, competition in Leicester. I think the first time I went to see the Leicester Comedy Festival was back in 1911 when it was just Fields. And I remember walking around going, this will be a great venue, you know, to, to put shows on. And it was, um, and it's funny because I have loved doing comedy so much and people always ask, what is it that drives you? And you know, when you get things like, like awards or just any recognition like this, it means more than everything to me. You know, it's absolutely fantastic. I mean, the main things people always go, oh, God, you, you, you just go on and on doing your shows, you go on, you must really love it. And I said, no, I mean, the main reason is for money, really. I mean, when you come from my background, I mean, you, you, you either work in a, black fern, in a blast furnace or you'd be working as a, you know, people smuggler. So I think doing stand-up comedy is probably the best you know, it's just something I love. I, I love meeting people like you guys. Everyone at the festival has been absolutely fantastic. And it just, you know, every year I just keep coming back. And hopefully, I know this is the Lifetime Achievement Award, but you will still be seeing me in 99 years time. I'll be coming back as an avatar. I will still be there. And you'll be at the back of the stage with laser lights after about an hour and a half going, get him off. You'll be like shouting to my carers. Can, can, they, can, can you go up? Can you get a Zimmer frame and just get Pat Monar off? I don't know, he's just, he's talking about, he's talking about biscuits now and old people homes. He's 111, get him off stage. So listen, thank you very much. It's been absolutely a pleasure. And it, it's just so nice to, to talk to you during lockdown, even though we're, we're on a screen and I'm holding this um, phallic Play-Doh symbol that you've made for me as an award. Thank you, Jeff. God bless you. I can't wait to see you in 2022 and stop hugging people and spreading Corona. And our final award tonight is for Legend of Comedy. And, uh, you know, have a guess, stick it in the chat. Let's see who you've come up with. You know, I've got a few ideas myself, to be honest with you. I mean, why else would they get me here this evening? This has been a massive ruse, hasn't it? You know, how we'll do a sort of a, this is your life type, he'll pop out. I'll be like, oh my God, no, it's too much, really. I've written this speech, but um, anyway, to, to tell us more, I'm gonna hand you back. Jeffro. The winner of the 2021 Leicester Comedy Festival Legend of Comedy Award has been associated with British comedy since 1975, when they won as an unknown comedian a precursor to Britain's Got Talent. Since those days their work has been seen live on stage, on TV, in films, on radio and most recently acting in theatres up and down the country. There is one thing which has made this comedian a real legend, which has, it's fair to say, taken up loads of their time, particularly over the last few weeks. 
I only really have one connection with this comedian. When I was at school, they were getting pretty popular on TV and one year became associated with a charity fundraising campaign. The winner of the Legend of Comedy Award this year tried to get people around the country to do things to raise money for the charity. So as a schoolboy, I decided that what I would do was organise a charity auction of celebrities' socks. So I wrote letters to around 50 famous people asking them if they would donate their socks to be auctioned at our school. Although I wrote around 50 letters, I received just one reply. The reply was from the winner of the Legend of Comedy Award this year, or at least was from their agent, Robert Luff. And with the letter, they enclosed a pair of their socks to be auctioned for charity. Given I only received one reply, and therefore only one pair of socks, I didn't actually finally do the auction. So instead, I kept the letter and the pair of socks. They're pretty dusty, but I still have them. I got them down from the loft just yesterday. And I feel the need now to publicly apologise that I never actually auctioned their socks, didn't raise a penny for charity. And presenting this award this evening is my way of saying sorry for that. The winner of this award started off winning a TV talent competition. And then, it's fair to say, had a pretty mainstream start to their career, performing with the likes of Cannon and Ball and appearing on TV shows including Celebrity Squares. However, after a few years, they made the shift from mainstream comedy to alternative comedy and performed with members of the Comic Strip Collective. This gave them a whole new career, performing in comedy clubs across the UK. And the winner of the Legend of Comedy also briefly appeared in the very last episode of The Young Ones. After this time, the winner of the Legend of Comedy Award started to have considerable success on British TV, having a number of series on their own with their comedy shows and regularly amongst the top watched TV shows in the country. In addition to comedy, this performer has a, had a long association with music having spent a three-year stint DJing on BBC Radio 1, lending their support to the Reg Wedge Political Music and Comedy Collective, and apparently featuring as a backing singer with Kate Bush. In more recent times, this person has acted and written their own plays, which have been performed on stage, radio and TV. This person might say that being honoured by Her Majesty the Queen with a knighthood was their biggest honour, but I hope he might also be thrilled, perhaps even more honoured, to be receiving this Legend of Comedy Award from us this year. They will join the likes of Victoria Wood, Sir Norman Wisdom, Ken Dodd, Rick Mayo, and Joe Brand and others who we've presented the Legend of Comedy Award to. Over the years, this comedian has performed stand-up across the UK but also in Australia, New Zealand and around the world. It's hard to think of anyone else who's made such an impact on British comedy, especially as a trailblazer and role model for black comedians and performers generally. I promise we're not presenting this award as a way of me apologising for not auctioning his socks. The 2021 Leicester Comedy Festival Legend of Comedy Award is presented to Lenny Henry. Now, as I mentioned, uh, Lenny's been pretty busy over the last few weeks, uh, mainly with comic relief, and he's not able to join us this evening to ex accept his award. But we will be sending his trophy to him just as soon as we can. And I might even return his socks. I'll probably wash them before we send them back to him. A uh, huge congratulations to Lenny on uh, being awarded the Legend of Comedy. I'll now hand you back to your host, Zoe Lyons. So that brings us to the end of the 2021 Leicester Comedy Festival Awards. I really hope you've enjoyed the show. Congratulations to all of our nominees and, of course, massive congratulations to all of our winners. Um, 
let's hope we get to squeeze you in the flesh next year. That I can't wait to kiss all of your beautiful faces. But for now, thank you to everybody who made tonight's streaming show possible. Uh, without them, this wouldn't have happened. And I'd have just been sitting in the dark. So uh, thank you for them. And thank you all for watching. I'm going to hand you back to the lovely Mr. Jeffro to close proceedings. Thank you so much, Zoe. Uh, as you said, thanks and congratulations to all the nominees, to all the winners, to all the presenters who joined us this evening to present the awards. And a massive thank you, a huge thank you to Zoe for hosting it. Uh, I meant it earlier on. She's become a huge friend of the festival and we really appreciate her continued support. Uh, I think I said this last year, um, but I remain optimistic and confident that we will see you next year in the flesh hopefully in Leicester for Leicester Comedy Festival 2022, our 29th anniversary, and also for the UK Kids Comedy Festival. Thank you for supporting us. Uh, good luck, everybody. Stay safe, and we'll see you next year. Thank you. Producer from the sorry, I'm it up. <laughs> she could fing hell so loud. Do it again. So, who are the nominations? Christ the mighty. The nominee nomin no, no. to present the award, please welcome Will. Present the <laughs> Forgot what I'm doing then. I make it funnier because it wasn't very okay. And to present the winner, please welcome Fernbeard. In hell, Zoe! Festival producer! Sorry, Fern, I know you're going mad behind the counter there, behind the scenes. I'll do that again, sorry. Uh...